Come join hand in hand, brave Americans all, and rouse your bold hearts at her liberty's call. No tyrannous act shall suppress your just claim, or stain with dishonor America's name. What options were available to African Americans during the Revolution? During this time, slavery was still an issue. However, there was an option for the slaves. They had the option to enlist for war. They often made their own evaluation and supported the side that presented them the best opportunity to escape slavery. American patriots are British loyalists. The choice was theirs. So how did African Americans exercise their option? They enlisted. So why did African American slaves choose war? There could have been various reasons. It could have been a desire for adventure. The slaves could have truly believed in the goals of the revolution. Or was it simply the possibility of receiving a bounty? which could have included cash, or it could have been simply the possibility of freedom. What happened to African Americans who fought on the side of the British? These African American soldiers became part of the Ethiopian regiment, complete with uniforms emblazoned with the slogan, Liberty to Slaves. Formed by Virginia's Royal Governor, John Murray, 4th Earl of Dunmore, better known as Lord Dunmore. He was determined to maintain British rule in the southern colonies and promised to free those slaves of rebel owners who fought for him. On November the 7th, 1775, Lord Dunmore issued a proclamation. He declared freedom for anyone able and willing to bear arms that joined His Majesty's troops. On July 21st, 1781, the final British ship left Savannah. In December 1782, the British evacuated Charleston. As more evacuations occurred, the slaves were transported for resettlement. Certificates of freedom were issued to the African American slaves. What were some of the reasons the British lost the war for American independence? It could have been Britain's military inadequacies during the war. Or was it the sheer difficulty involved in moving troops across the Atlantic Ocean? Or it could have simply been foreign intervention. But what could they have done differently in order to have won the war? Top military leaders could have been sent into the war zones. Motivation among leaders and soldiers should have been at an all-time high. It would have been extremely beneficial for supplies and reinforcements to have been stationed closer. In the end, many loyalists simply left America.